Blake Janelle. Uh, I hear, I'm here at the Creative Cities Conference in Warsaw, Poland. It's the last day of the conference. Very sad. Uh, March 23rd, 2010. Um, and we're going to take a, a, a video with a bunch of, so you can meet the people at this conference who are fantastic. Um, so I'm going to get behind the camera for most of this and uh, let's start meeting some folks from the conference. Hello, who, 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 who are you? Where are you from? I'm Saida Ahmed. I'm from the UK. I run a social enterprise called Tresco and we're going to be doing the Blake and Saida social <laughs> enterprise show. <laughs> well, uh, hopefully we can live up to that name. What's your name? Where are you from? Uh, my name is Aga Skorówka. I'm Polish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, what are you working on prior to the conference? Um, okay, I am here with my Polish project or a small enterprise and we are working on or we specialize in trying to assist urban planners and architects in creating user-friendly spaces. So who are you and where are you from? I'm uh, Enric, I'm from Barcelona in Spain. And what are you working on there? I'm, I'm in a foundation which is called City Lab. It's a center for activating the innovative capabilities of people through the use of new technologies. So tell me one thing that you'll do differently after this conference. Okay, one thing I'm for sure doing differently is uh, to uh, approach uh, possible ways of funding uh, these projects. Hello. Hello. How are you? Hi. What's your name? Where are you from? Uh, my name is Louise Hamilton. I'm from Stockholm, Sweden. Mm -hmm. and, and what do you do in Stockholm? I, uh, I run a network for social entrepreneurs. <laughs> and are you showing the, the name badge? Yep. Louise Hamilton. <laughs> um, and how's that going for you so far? Um, well, it's, it's, it's going. Um, the, the toughest part has been to get funding and before we get funding we need to pay, make people understand that it's yeah. sort of like a catch-22. Right. But it's, it's definitely easy to gather young people who have good ideas because it's based on uh, gathering people and mobilizing them around ideas and with a philosophy that if we're a group it's easier to make the ideas happen and make them come true. My name is Martin. I'm from Budapest, and I tell you that this workshop is amazing, <laughs> and, and the food is great. <laughs> that's awesome. So, what brought you here? That's this. Is the food. The food, and, <laughs> and of course, like really nice, charming people <laughs> and from from all over Central Eastern Europe. So that's really a nice thing. <laughs> and and tell us what you're working on. So I'm, I'm working on a tutoring mentoring program that brings uh, older adults uh, to elementary schools to improve the reading abilities of school children. So Great. That's, that's what we do and what's it called? It's called uh, Civic Enterprises. Awesome. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about yourself. So, uh, I'm a documentary maker, I produce uh, social creative documentaries and I run and I organize uh, video workshops because I believe that people like you holding a camera in their hands, they can change the of media, we can create some other contents and I think we can change the world because the mass media, they are washing our brains sometimes. <laughs> and, and what's your name? Where are you from? I'm Maya Mus. I'm coming from uh, Slovenia and uh, I am like a bee. I like to travel all around so my home is my world. <laughs> That's awesome. What's your name, my friend? What brings you to the conference? Uh, my name's Oliver. Copenhagen, but I'm, uh, I'm from England. And tell us what you're working on in Copenhagen. Um, I'm setting up a project called the Copenhagen Honey Cooperative, and uh, we're going to create a sustainable local bee industry in Copenhagen by involving immigrant groups in uh, cooking bees and making honey, and then providing jobs to people on the edge of the work market in uh, processing honey and making uh, different products out of it. What's your name? Where are you from? Uh, my name's Barbara Dinsdale. I'm from Bradford, West Yorkshire in the UK. And uh, tell us what you've been working on back in Bradford. I um, offer preventative health care and education through nutrition to mm -hmm. prevent long-term diseases and improve quality of life. Mm -hmm. but, um, Excellent. And what, what have you found from the conference so far? Oh, it's been absolutely fascinating. I think the diverse range of people, it's exciting, there's some real energy and buzz and enthusiasm and I'm just so inspired. Hello there. Who are you and what's your name and where are you from? I'm from Paris. 
Poland. My name is Eva Eitan. I'm regional project manager for Creative Cities, uh, which uh, the project which takes part in 15 countries in North, Central, and Eastern Europe, including Russia and Ukraine and the UK. Wow! And you helped put this whole event together, didn't you? Well, I was at the very beginning of it. Uh, I met David on the 2nd of September last year to check whether he would be happy to uh, program it for us. So it took us a little bit of a while, you know, to, to come to the final result. So this has been in the works since September of yeah. 2009. Yeah. Wow. And uh, so I believe you and I emailed each other even before, before we, we met you. How, what was it like imagining what this event would look like and then seeing it? Um, it was a challenge uh, to, uh, to work on this event because, um, you know, certain things were taking place simultaneously. So I was a little bit worried about the logistics and whether people would behave and remember which groups they are assigned for. But eventually it worked very well. Everyone behaved. Um, I don't know why, uh, but um, I'm very happy. That's great. Are you proud of what? Yes, I think that, you know, the, the, the fact is that people seem to be happy and they um, seem to network well and they are asking each other for contact details. So this is what it's all about, you know, sharing knowledge and experience across borders. That's great. Well, thank you so much. This was incredible. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Hello there, who are you, where are you from? Hi, I'm Nigel, Nigel Bellingham, I'm from Britain, um, I, but I work in the Czech Republic, I'm British Council's director in Prague, uh, but I'm also project director of the Creative Cities Project, and which runs across 15 countries in Russia and North Europe. And, and ran this event, correct? Yes, yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's great, and do you feel like this event was a success? Um, well, the first bit, the bit that we can measure now, I mean, um, my sense is, yeah, people have, people have come, they've had a good time, they've, uh, they've really worked hard and, uh, and made lots of new contacts. The second bit, we'll see, but I think that everything looks good, it looks like they're going to go away and they're going to work together. There seem to be lots of, lots of good intentions and lots of good ideas. So, yeah, hopefully, but we'll see. <laughs> well, that's great. From my vantage point, it's been a tremendous success, and we're all okay. incredibly grateful. So thank you so much, Nigel. Well, thanks for coming. <laughs> all right, take care. <laughs> Hello there. Hello. Uh, who are you and where are you from? I'm Michael Piner. I'm from Ireland, but I work in the UK. Is that why you look so grumpy? Thank <laughs> <laughs> you, sir. No, it's been, I look grumpy because in, in 36 hours, you've become a sworn enemy. <laughs> <laughs> tell, me, tell me about what you've what you, uh, been working on uh, back I, home. I run something called the Shortage Trust, which is a charitable regeneration agency that focuses on education, literature, arts, and giving kids mostly the best start we can. That's great. And how was this conference for you? Blink. It was... It's charitable. That's why they took him on. See, I'm being heckled now by a Muslim woman. This is not good. <laughs> this is so unfair. You're picking on a poor Muslim woman. Why can't you just say woman? Look, look, this is what this has been like. This is constant harassment. The only Irishman in the entire place. It's That's been yeah. great. With the exception of meeting you two. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Michael. It's been amazing meeting you. Thank you. Thank you, Blake.